What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMR Gaming, and today guys I'm bringing you a new updated video on what's going on in the PS4 modding community. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the new exploit page, and let you guys know that it's just been updated as of today. So anyone who loads their page offline does not know about the new update unless they read it online and i want to inform you guys about the new update and show you what's new and as well as explain a couple of things in regards to tyler mods real-time editor so first things first let's go to setting user guide and i'm going to load the exploit page and as you guys can see on the right hand side they have tabs and when you click on it, it just says about in cash. Now, I haven't actually clicked on either or to see if it works. I'm assuming it works. So I have no need to want to actually click on that, but it's there for you guys to test. As you guys can see, you got game mods. So when you come over here, you got payloads for Grand Theft Auto and you have Call of Duty Online. Now, the Call of Duty Online, I'm assuming, is for the new Black Ops 3 method on how to go online. And when you're able to go online, you will be able to load this actual mod menu for Call of Duty. And it will allow you to mod zombies or even multiplayer when you go online and you just press a button and that menu pops open. And you could do whatever crazy shit you want to do. As you guys can see, they still have the payloads and more for Grand Theft Auto. Some of them I'm unfamiliar with. So what I would suggest to you guys is to Google which one you want to use and just do a little research before you actually use it. Because you don't want to assume that one, it works with the base version of the game and you may need an update where you don't have the update and it doesn't work i'm assuming most of these payloads will work with just the base version of the game and the ones that you're not familiar with just google it so you know exactly what it does prior to using the payload which this selection part i actually like it and i hope they include more payloads but they should just give a breakdown on what game it works for so that when you come in here you know exactly what payload is for what game versus actually have to go and Google it. So that's that. Then you got your real time editor. So when you come in here, you got your debug, you got your Tyler mods. And that's cool because a lot of people are using Tyler mods real time editor and he keeps improving it and keep doing that. But there's still a couple of things that I want to address as far as the real time editor is concerned so when you come into 505 everything looks the same and like i said to you before when you click on this you got about auto load and cash like i said i haven't clicked on any of those because i have no need to want to do auto load or anything i just leave it alone and load it the normal way and pretty much nothing has changed on this page when you go to your switch got your switch exploit and then you got your wii u exploit and so on now as far as it goes with the real-time editor from tyler mods i want to explain a couple of things so that you guys are not confused when you come to this new exploit page so you can now come here to ps4 real-time editor load tyler mods let it load and it will load head for you and send the payload so as you guys can see it loaded head and it loaded the payload for me what that means is when i go on the actual program on my computer while i'm on this screen all i gotta do in the program open it up make sure my ip address is correct make sure the correct firmware version is selected and then from there, it will automatically connect. I don't have to send any payload. It would say a message that the payload was already sent and it will be already connected. All you would have to do after that is just go in the game, start it up, and attach 
that trainer to that game and then you just load your cheats. You can also do it another way. So I'm going to back out from here. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to user guide again. Load it up. You can go to 505. Now you can go to bin loader and load this, right? But the only difference, you have to do it the original way, which is send the payload. So you still got to make sure your IP address is correct, select your correct firmware, and then send the payload, and then everything else, you do the same. I don't have a problem with this. This is the original way that I'm used to doing it versus the Tyler Mods method where everything is loaded for you. Both of them work for me, so I don't have an issue. Now, when you come down to original, right, go to setting, user guide, 505, and original, it does not work. It's broken. It will stay in this loop and just keep spinning and spinning and spinning. So I want you guys to know that this does not work. And prior to doing the update, the original method, which is here, worked. So as of today, when you go to the new exploit page, it doesn't do anything. So I want to make sure that you guys are not wasting your time waiting for this to load and then realize it's not doing anything. So I'm going to back out from here, go back to settings, user guide, load it again. Now, I want to address a couple of things as far as the exploit host page and Tyler's Mods Real-Time Editor, there's a couple of confusion going on. And I would like for them to sort this out so that people, when they do the update, are not wasting time trying to figure out how to get the editor to work. As of today, I was playing Arkham Knight, and I went to PS4 Real-Time Editor. I loaded Tyler's Mods, and then, like I said, everything was done, everything was connected, but I noticed half of the cheats are not working. When I was playing Batman Arkham Knight, the actual wing tech points where you can put it to 10, 50, whatever, 100, that part worked. However, when I went to go use uh, Infinity Life, that did not work. And the biggest thing that I'm starting to realize is that there's a confusion on how to get the editor to work. And that would be that no matter what method you use, all of them should work. So you would have an option to go to PS4 Real-Time Editor, load it from there. Or if you go to 505, Low Bin Loader or Original, all of them would work. So it will only mean that the user would have different methods to get the editor to work rather than having one method that works, but yet no one tells you that this is method A, B, C, E, F, G, and you're stuck wasting time to figure out, okay, I did it the original way, it worked, now it's not working, and the exploit page has been updated, and now I gotta go to bin loader and send it that way, and that don't work. I would just say, make it that no matter if you use bin loader, original, mirror plus hen, hen, Tyler mods, doesn't matter. They all work so that the user, which is myself and other people, don't have to be confused on how to get it to work or get it halfway to work and realize that something has to be changed or done this way and go back and redo the whole thing. I would just say, you know, if you guys are going to constantly change the page, just make it that no matter what method you use, all of them work. And then no one would really have to email Tyler Mods to tell him, hey, this is not working, that's not working, yada, yada, yada. It's because of XXX and it's not the method you're doing. It's just either the page is missing something behind the scene or the trainer has to be updated within itself and everything is Gucci and everything will work no matter what. So that's just my solution to the problem because again, within the last two days, 
I've been hitting him up and letting him know, listen, there's a problem. Can you please address it? And then I went to his Discord page and he did post a solution, but it not all of it is working. And again, it's very time consuming to go back and forth to figure this out. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. You, As you can see, the page has been updated. I would advise you guys before you update you know make sure you know that this page is updated and if you plan to use the real-time editor make sure you know how to use it or do some research another thing that i would suggest about this page is if you can have a previous exploit page where from here or before this you can have the new exploit page or the old exploit page. And the reason why I say that is because if you're updating this page and there's a little problem here and there, I could always revert back to the previous exploit page and everything should be fine. I know it's probably a little bit more work to do, but if I can go back to the previous exploit page and know that that work and everything's Gucci versus this page, then I would just wait until you guys get this up and running, go back to the previous version, right? Save it for offline. And then when this is sorted out, I'll go back and update. Once I update, then it's like, shit, I can't go back. Or unless I have another method of the exploit page, then yeah, I could go back. But why even do all of that? You know, I don't want to go back and forth. I would just like to have before previous and new so that in a situation where this is down or this is not working or something's off, I just go back to the previous exploit, save that for offline and do what I got to do. So as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. I'll be making a new video for what I would recommend you guys to do prior to the 555 jailbreak and look out for that video. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you don't like it, thumbs it down. Leave a comment below. But as always, I thank you guys for watching my video and peace.